400 videos. Yeah. Yes. Hey everybody, it's me, Ian, and that's Car Alarm. Fuck you, Car Alarm. You know why? Because this is my 400th video. Okay, I need to do something about that car. Okay. So, I hope this is my 400th video because I checked Video Manager and it says 399 videos. But then I checked a YouTube video from mine and it says 400 videos. So, consider this the 400th or 400th once video. But, anyways, let's get to the point. Here is my top. Five best and worst of season four. Let's start with the best. So, number five. It ain't easy being breezies. I feel this episode is kind of underrated. People think they need scientific explanations for why everything in the show needs to happen. But sometimes you just gotta remember it's a cartoon. They can, if they wanna pull something out of their out of their ass and just, just like put it out there. Sure, fine, why not? It's not like it's messing with anything chronologically. Say like the Breezies took over Discord and they defeat him. It's not like any of that. It's just you know, they want an explanation on the Breezies, how they work and all that. Because of that lack of that, they didn't like this episode. There are a bunch of other reasons too. But you know, I liked it, because I could think past why the breezes happened, and just look at what we got. It's not what we didn't get, it's about what we got, and that's what we were here to analyze, what we got. And what we got was pretty good. Yep. So, number four, Flight to the Finish. You know, I thought I'd like this episode a bit more, but considering some of the other episodes that we just had, so yeah, flight to the finish, it tackled something we've all been wondering for a long time, is Goodaloo disabled? This episode doesn't say, oh yeah, she's disabled, no, it, 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 it implies that. Everybody knew she cannot fly, she can't, she just can't, and that's what really hits me right there, because this episode, it tackles the moral so good that it just it's it, it was a really good episode what what else can i say number three princess twilight sparkle now when i saw the opening two-parter i was like i like this, this is really good and i'm like you know what this is my favorite opener two-parter i mean think about it the crystal empire it was okay um, Return to Harmony, it was awesome, but I think Flight to the Finish just had, or Princess Twilight Sparkle just had a little bit more of a story, basically, like a, a continuity thing, like, from the season three finale, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Basically, Twilight. It's like, she just became a princess, she's wondering what to do. And, yeah, it just shows that all this good stuff just comes together and it, it makes it a really good episode. Alright, number two. Speaking of two-parters, Twilight's Kingdom. I really love this. You know, for a while, I was, I was debating between this and number one. But... Number one just had a bit more that I loved in it. A lot of reasons why I love Twilight's Kingdom. I love T Rex. T Rex is a is is a great villain. I'd say he's better than Discord. Cause well, you know, Discord's not a full villain. He's reformed. He's officially reformed now. Or so we think. And yeah. There was a lot of like the, I love the, the two songs, the beginning player part and uh, Let the Rainbow Remind You. Um, I, I know a lot of people who say, oh, those songs suck because they're just crappy. Or the, 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 la the latter is like, oh, it's just a crappy pop song. And then the first one is like, oh, oh it's just boring. It's, it's like repetitive. It's like the choreography sucks. It, the, the lyrics are like redundant. And I'm like, well, OK, 
cares? It's a good song. And then people are like, oh, why do they need to explain the keys to us? I mean, we already know this. No, the ponies don't. They don't. So, technically, this is their first time finding out that these have a connection with the box. Also, that save tree position that people are trying to do. No, just, just, just no. Just stop. Just stop right there. Let me stop you right there. I'm gonna let you finish, but just, just take it down and and try to admire this new kingdom, this castle thing that Twilight has that doesn't. If I had to say something wrong about that episode, I'd say it's the castle design sort of deal. It, I'm not saying it looks ugly. I'm just saying it looks out of place. It looks like something that would belong in the Crystal Empire. Just saying. Maybe more of a revamped treehouse sort of deal, but well, who knows. But, on to number one. Maybe many of you have probably guessed it, but... Pinky Pride. Number of reasons I, why I love this episode the most out of all the episodes seen before. part. First things first. Cheese. Weird Al Yankovic. What, what more can I say? I love Weird Al's music. It doesn't look like it, but I love Weird Al's music. He, he's a really good, talented artist. Our artist and he's a really good actor as shown in here voice actor that is um, I really love this song most of the songs are memorable I think if I had to pick my favorite it would be it would be um, the goof off yeah it's just it was really good it was a really good episode I loved it so much it had so much stuff that I loved in it there was like no flaws whatsoever this is my favorite episode of season 4 but now, we go to the bad stuff. The, those episodes that just make you go... And if you know me, you know what episodes are coming up. Some, are stere some may be expected, some may be not in the order you thought, and some might, might be on there for no other reason than just for personal reasons. So, let us start with number five, worse. Rainbow Falls. Now, I don't particularly hate this episode. In fact, I'd say it's one of the better episodes of season four. But, considering how most of the episodes that I've reviewed during season four have either gotten in the eight out of ten or nine out of ten, being in the middle of there, and considering that I've given all the episodes seven out of tens in the five in in the top five best, yeah, I only have to start from the bottom. But you know, I love this episode, or you know, I don't, I don't, I like this episode. It's it's just a lower ranked episode because of some inconsistency, un inconsistency. Of continuity errors like why does Fluttershy want to join into the games even though she's like a shy person why is Spoke Spike Steps not having his wings good uh, he was good in Wonderbolts Academy he was heck he was good in Twilight's Kingdom he was flying with the Wonderbolts unless they want to consider Snowflake and Bolt Biceps opposites which I wouldn't mind so yeah just a bunch of continuity errors and yeah, I in my opinion I didn't I I didn't like it as much as other people, but it was still decent. Number four, worst. Power ponies. What can I say about power ponies that hasn't already been said? The conflict or the just the premise alone, it, it feels weird. Maybe it would have worked better if it was a dream segment, like in Spike's imagination. Not like an actual comic book store that just comes out of nowhere in Canada and just warps them all to a magical place. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Also, the Maniac. Although a lot of people like the Maniac, she just seems like a cliched comic book villain. And people are like, oh, but that's the point. Well, sometime, well, maybe making it... Just making a character annoying as hell doesn't make him a good character. If if the point is you're trying to make him annoying, it's not helping. He's still annoying. It doesn't it doesn't matter if he's if he's supposed to be annoying or not. He's annoying nonetheless. So yeah. 
Also, Flutter Hope. I'm not a big fan of that design. No, just no. So, yeah. Next one. Leap of faith. You know, I had high expectations for this episode, but they disappointed me. I was expecting some sort of grand um, reunion with the Flim Flam saying, Oh, we still own the farm, because technically... If you go watch that other guy's video who says that the farm is still owned by us, we technically still own the farm, so. But no, we got, hey guys, hey guys, 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 hey, 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 we have a tonic. We have a tonic here. It's, it's Applejack approved. Just kidding. It's only apple and leeches. But, yeah, that I did not expect that at all. And the song, it was okay. But it wasn't, so it it didn't it doesn't live up to the super speedy cyber squeezy six thousand. I'm just saying. So, yeah. Next up, simple ways. I did not care for this episode that much. I don't I don't care for romance plots. For reasons. <coughs> Alex, <coughs> but. I just had to give this episode a chance. It got a 6 out of 10. No other episode has a 6 out of 10. So, what does that tell you? I didn't like this episode that much. Because of a few reasons. One, whatever his name was, the, the Sure Club, no, not Sure Club, uh, Trender, who. Yeah, he's such a forgettable character. That's why I couldn't remember his name. He's so forgettable. He's so bland. It's just... He's not a good character. And... Yeah. The whole conflict, it seems a little forced. There were a few good laughs in there. Like that embedded joke with Spike and Rarity. Like, Rarity's all like, Oh, you don't know what it means to... You like someone and they not share the same feelings with you. And Spike just looks at the camera like. Yeah. But, you know. At least number one on the worst list. Well. If you know me, you know what number one is. So, enough with simple ways. Let's bash the number one pick. Tradia. I know a lot of people are split of this episode. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people are in the middle of the line like, eh. But for me, I'm over here. Yeah, I'm that far in the line. I really hate this episode for a lot of reasons. Number one. Why would Rainbow Dash just sell her off her friend to someone? Like, she doesn't even know them, but she's willing to sell off her friend just for a book. I mean, you have a bunch of books at home. Well, not anymore, because... Well, you know. Number two. Why... You know, why does this have to come up? This this plot... Alright, this plot is so cliched. I don't know how many times I've seen this, but... <sighs> Number three, Twilight's all like, oh, I'm gonna take these books with me. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this, I'm taking this, this, this Chronicles of Narnia book. Who wants it? And then she's all like at the end, oh, no, I'm not gonna give any way these books. This book reminds me of when the time, the time, the time I met you, Pinkie Pie. There's just a lot of problems with the episode. I really don't like it. I hate to end it off on a bad note. But Yeah, I just I don't like I don't like trading. So that's gonna do it with this episode. If you like this video, click right there or right there to subscribe and make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all next time.